Well, good evening to everyone around the world and good morning, I think, or good afternoon to our wonderful guest panelists from South Korea. I am just so excited to welcome you all back to our third episode of ACDA Connecting with the World. My name is TJ Harper and I am the Director of uh, Coral Activities in Los Angeles, California. But more importantly, I get to host and moderate this wonderful session with ACDA Executive Director Tim Sharp. So now, before I go through some of our ground rules and introduce our panelists, I want to make everyone aware that we have, um, unfortunately, a little bit of a technical difficulty. So both Tim Sharp and our wonderful colleague and translator, Ryan Namkung, will be audio only. So they'll be talking, but you just won't see them. But I hope that's OK with everyone. All right. So what I'd like to do is the first thing we have a couple ground rules. If we have additional technical problems, just ask for your patience. Don't log off. Stay with us. We'll fix it. And then towards the end of the session, we're going to save about 20 minutes or so for questions from the attendees to our panelists. So with that said, I am just so excited. Again, thank you in advance to Ryan Namkung, who is going to be translating for us. Um, but our first panelist, and it's an honor to have him here, is Ha Kwan Yoon, who is the president of the Seoul Chorus Center and dean of the Choral Academy. We have Shina Park, director of Ewa Women's University and Ansan City Choir. Hi. We have Hee Kim. He's the artistic director of Jeju International Choir Festival, artistic director of Chunsong Music Foundation, and a conductor at Myeongsong Church. We have Ujung Yoon, artistic director of the National Chorus of Korea. And last but certainly not least, we have Hyo Won Woo, composer in residence for the National Chorus of Korea. Welcome and thank you so much for being here. Hi. Uh, thank you. Hi. Hi. Nice meeting you, everybody. Tim, are you there? I'm here, TJ. My greetings to everyone. And I know we have some uh, viewers in South Korea tonight. So I'm uh, very happy that uh, they're all here and uh, our ACDA members in the United States uh, viewing and listening. So happy to have all of you online and uh, talking to us tonight. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So Thank for you. us, this is a special thought um, opportunity to come together and I think the idea with these webinars is we're trying to maintain and enrich the choral profession and the choral community. And we don't want to lose contact with one another. And so we're finding all these wonderful ways where we can stay connected and continue to learn from um, wonderful individuals that we know and respect. So I thought a really nice way to begin this evening's webinar or today's webinar would be to feature a video that was recently produced by the National Chorus of Korea. And this is featuring uh, one of our guest panelists, Lee Jung Yoon. And I'm gonna ask you, EJ, if you would introduce this video clip for everyone. Yeah, uh, the National Chorus of Korea uh, has two composers in residence, Oh Pyong Hee and Woo Hyo Won. These composers have composed the pieces for the National Chorus of Korea to perform and condolence people all over the world. One of the pieces is titled All Will Be Fine, and the other is titled Viva Korea. Uh, but this time uh, we, got, we can listen to uh, All Will Be Fine. Uh, the performances of these pieces have been uploaded in YouTube and have touched many people's heart. But actually we have, you know, we have one here, but uh, we're gonna listen, Obion Chi's All Will Be Fine. Okay, and here we go. Thank you. 
Wow, that was beautiful. Thank you so much for that, really. That was just incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This song, this was a, a message of hope during this time. Yeah, right. Okay. And um, EJ, when did you record that, that video? Oh, uh, we did one month ago. That was beautiful. It was very touching. I'm going to ask now for Tim to come back um, and so we can see him to ask the first question of our panelists. Okay. I want to ask the first question of our guests tonight. Uh, the first question, Ryan, I'd like to ask everyone is, um, first of all, we want to know how they're doing, if they're in good health and uh, how they are doing in their families. We, we, we hope that they are doing well. Uh, and then we want to ask about their work. What have they been doing during this time of uh, COVID and, and how have they been working during this crisis period in this pandemic? My family and I are doing very well. They're so good. Kromi, you know, 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 you 마침이 어떤 코로나가 들어오는 바람에 연습을 하나도 못하고 그냥 있어서 그래서 어쩔 수 없이 생각해낸 게 아이들과 선생님들이 전부 글을 써서 우리가 책을 만들기로 했어요. 그 책이 이제 잡지가 이제 이번 월요일 날 나옵니다. 아, 그, 그 표지는 이런 건데 표지가 이런 건데 예, 이게, 예, 이게 책으로 나와서 조금만 미리 나왔을 때 여러분들한테 다 드리는 건데 예, 좀 드렸어요. 그런 활동을 하고 있습니다. 물론 유나곤 코랄도 하고 있고요. So recently, I found a new project which is I started 17 uh, children's choir in all over the Korea. So this is a regional children's choir in all over the city. And it's about the time um, because of the pandemic for the coronavirus, we just found it, but we couldn't even start the first rehearse. So the what we thought um, uh, teachers and the choirs, uh, instead of just rehearsing, we are uh, making um, articles and put it all together like publisher, like a book. So we writing uh, essays, we writing uh, stories for each individual. And as I just shown in a cover page, um, I wish I can just send it to everyone here. But um, so it, it'll be uh, done by this coming, it, coming up this Monday. And this is a book. We just uh, recently uh, made it. And this is all story from um, the members of Children's Choir and teachers. And I'm also continuing to doing it with um, Hagwon Yung Koreo. This is an adult professional, uh, semi-professional semi choir. Oh, that's fantastic. Great. And how about the other panelists? How are you all doing? Uh, let me say, my name is Shinwa Park. I'm teaching at the university. For right now, most of the classes uh, at my university have gone online but the music department that i'm in is one of the exception exceptions for example classes for practical voice lessons are offline and conducting classes are also currently offline in order to minimize uh, contact between professors and students we use a large classroom at certain time uh, uh, even for private lessons when there is no large classroom available at certain time, we may still use smaller classrooms, but we are required to put a transparent plate, big transparent plate between professors and students. 
Moreover, most importantly, professors and accompanists should always wear face masks. Uh, my family is also trying hard to protect ourselves from infection. My wife, who teaches organ, is required to follow almost identical procedures to the ones that I'm required. Uh, she and all of her students must wear masks during private lessons. And she has to sanitize her organ with alcohol in between all her lessons. My son is also a graduate student at another university. He does not um, major in music. So all his classes are currently online. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, I'm Hichar Kim. <laughs> My main job is the professor at uh, the Shenyang, Shenyang University in China. And uh, currently, just I cannot go there. So uh, that uh, only my my church choir started to sing a few weeks ago. Also, I am preparing a new uh, small music school in Jeju Island. And uh, just I have postponed the meeting for my festival and other programs. <coughs> However, I am sending more time with my family instead. That's it. Hi, my name is E.J. Yoon. I'm an artist director of the National Chorus of Korea. Uh, like the majority of the people in Korea, my family is wearing masks everywhere they go. And mm -hmm. temperature checks and hand sanitizing become a obvious tasks to do before entering anywhere. Uh, many gathering and official meeting patterns uh, have changed, and especially all businesses are waiting for things to get better. Uh, as a musician, we have given up any hope of having musical activity in the first semester of 2020, and got hopeful for a short period of time when uh, confirmed cases of a virus have been down to less than 10, but again, confirmed cases of the virus have been escalated up to 79 now, and all concerts in Seoul has been canceled until June 14th. Wow. Thank you. 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 I'm currently working as a resident composer of National Choir of Korea under direction of Yoo Jung Yoon. Uh, my family, including myself, is doing well. I was preparing a huge concert in March, which was cancelled by pandemic. Uh, we are still being cautious, but thankfully it looks getting better here. Now I'm currently working for commissioned work for National Choir of Korea for annual Korean uh, Independence Day in August. Well, that's great. You know, um, personally, I'm just so happy to hear that you're all doing well and you're healthy and your families are doing well. So mm -hmm. thank you so much. This okay. next question, this is for Hakwan Yoon and Hee Kim. Um, the question really has to do perhaps with the psychological health, the emotional health of our singers and um, even everyone in, in the country. But do you have a sense of how um, the singers in your communities are coping with the current health crisis? Oh, well, the 어떤 일을 만들어서 거기에 활동을 하면서 정신적인 그런 에, 능력을 키워나가면 되지 않을까 생각해요. So uh, the singers in uh, Korea, um, they try to do um, everyday exercise, try to keep the men, uh, mental health, and also um, um, like try to stay practice for the uh, regular days. 
and that's how we withdraw at this moment. Uh, actually, my hometown is getting better, and uh, but most people are still afraid, still afraid of doing every activity. Uh, this week, elementary school and middle school, high school, and started this week, and but many parents that parents are still worrying about the. Uh, of worrying about that. Uh, many people are still trying to work without meeting face to face. Yes, it's under pressure, like psychological. Mm. Yeah, and I think that pressure is something that we all feel. Um, yeah. And this is something that is very difficult for all of us. But I think that, you know, the the idea that we're all in this together gives us some level of comfort. But I know that it's still difficult everywhere around the world. Mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to turn this over to Tim now for the, our next question. All right. This third question is for Yu Yong Yoon and Xinhua Park and He Chiro Kim. Uh, we know that the health crisis is affecting uh, choirs all around the world, including our church choirs. And I know that there are many, many church choirs in South Korea. Um, I'd like to hear their strategies uh, that they have developed for their rehearsals. And also, uh, what are you doing to keep your singers engaged during this time? How are you keeping them involved? So this is the church choir director's um, uh, question, Ryan, for uh, Yu Yong Yoon, Kim Hwa Park, and Hee Cho Kim. Yeah. Uh, first, Yoido Full Gospel Church, the church I conducted, conducting, uh, consisting of around 150 choir members have kept the choir members to 25 soloists during service and recently have been more open to about 75 members in the choir. This is due to the strong implementation of social distancing in Seoul City. Uh, since we are not able to practice properly, uh, we gave the members a uh, repertoire for the four weeks to come and YouTube videos and music for them to practice individually at home. Also, I am trying not to use a new piece that choir members are unfamiliar with because of this situation. And our choir members are praying every day 9 p.m. for the pandemic oh. to demolish as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other, the National Chorus of Korea that I'm conducting have also canceled all concerts in March, April, and May. However, I have given all choir members marked scores and guidelines to practice at home. And when things seemed to be getting better, we have gathered to practice with masks on and two meter of social distancing. As a result, we had a successful concert in May 16th and 17th. Uh, during this concert, audience also were to keep social distancing of two meters. Uh, so there were a very small number of audience than usual, but uh, the choir members were all moved and moved to tears by the fact that they sang. Uh, it was a moment when we realized again our true service as a, a professional singers and our first love for music. After the performance, we are more united and trying to overcome this difficult situation by sharing what we lost in memories. Okay, let me talk about my church choir. Uh, unfortunately, my church choir has never come together and sung since the pandemic. However, as you know, I believe Korea has been dealing with the crisis relatively well, 
and the restriction regarding church worship service and choirs have become more lenient these days. So my church choir, which has almost 150 members, recently started to sing anthem in worship services. But of course, not all singers can sing at, at the same time. In the beginning, only four soloists used to sing uh, at the service. Next week, it became eight and 12 in the following week. The number gradually increased and last uh, Sunday, 40 four singers sang at the service. But even with 40 singers, there was at least five foot distance between each of the singers. Also, from the beginning to the end of the service, every congregation, including even choir, conductor, and pastor, should wear a face, face mask, except when the choir sings an anthem and when the pastor preaches. Uh, that's uh, my choir's, my church's situation. Okay. My, my situation is very similar with Uju. Uh, uh, my church choir, my choir just 1,000 people, actually. So, so <laughs> I, have to, yeah, I, I have to then be careful. And then, uh, I'm trying to share more ideas and through the SMS uh, recently and the a YouTube link and for the people who cannot participate in rehearsal because of the health crisis. And then I think we have to consider the, uh, providing more clean, uh, cleaner and more freshing environment in this case. And I cannot open the rehearsal for my children's choir yet. And then, so I am sharing music score at home and just uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sending to the music score or audio file to members and that who cannot practice at home. I think uh, what I love about these is the, um, the, the practical application of how you're getting everyone back together again. Um, this is extremely helpful. Um, moving on from that question, what I think would be really great um, and what I'd like to ask is how um, this question is for Hakwan Yoon and regarding the conductors, and I think, you know, we're considering how the personal health and our own self-care is extremely important. Do you have any advice for conductors specifically who may be struggling during this time? <laughs> this is a very difficult question for me. <laughs> <laughs> 아까도 내 얘기했지만 뭐 어쩔 수 없이 규칙적인 생활하고 어또 새로운 일을 자꾸 생각하고 꾸며내 가야 사람이 활력이 생긴다. 어, 그런 얘기입니다. Yeah, like I said before, um it is very important we doing a uh, uh, everyday exercise and activities in order to keep your mental health. If you think something always positive, stay positive and try to create some, um, like, of course, it's, it can be go back to before, but if you can create some new stuff, then that really helps you keep and you know, stay health. You know, actually, if possible, if I could ask him a follow up question, because it seems to me in my experience that the choral community in Korea is very close knit and everyone really knows each other. Are you finding uh, conductors are supporting each other during this time? We have a conductor of the Hanguk Championship, and a conductor of the Hanguk Championship, and a conductor of the Hanguk Championship, and a and a conductor of the so we have three big association in conductors in Korea. Uh, one for for um, just I don't know uh, what's the official name of the Korean Conductors Association, but that's for the uh, conductors for the choral music, and we have Church Conductors Association, and also we have a uh, youth children's choir conductors associations. Those three big associations 
the conductors will meeting uh, regularly and every month. And we, uh, yeah, we keep in each other and take care of each other and try to create some uh, events if if it's possible in these days. 내가 아 uh, 올해까지만 예, 그 교육학 협회 예, 거기도 올해까지만 하고 이제 내려놨는데 이번에 박신화 선생님이 거기 예, 뭐야 회장이 되셨어요. 그래서 so um I used to be work with a uh, church choir member uh, conductors association in Korea. And now, um, Shina Park will be leading, and he is now um, um, the president of a board member. <laughs> yeah, uh, that is uh, actually a KCMA, Korean Church Music Association, which I'm working as a president, will help the transition. Yeah. This question is for uh, all of you uh, conductors. We imagine that uh, during this time, we might be thinking differently about the kind of music that we're performing. Has your programming or your repertoire changed any in, in this environment? Pakshino, <laughs> So um church church conductors association usually have a conference in during summertime like um early August or uh end of the July. Uh cross fingers, but um we wish we can have this again next year. Um personally I uh, plan to have a concert in this September, but um Unfortunately, we will have to cancel for that. So we wish we can have uh, everything getting better for the next year so we can continue to have this event. OK, uh, let me talk about the repertoire. Uh, choirs in South Korea sing a lot of songs that are encouraging and help own singers and uh, audiences cope with the current situation. For example, uh, songs that many choirs these days sing are You Raise Me Up, He Watching Over Israel, or we also sing a lot of similarly encouraging songs that are written by Korean composers. Uh, in my opinion, I think choirs should sing songs that are more familiar with the ordinary audiences. By familiar songs, I mean uh, pop songs, folk songs, or hymns that a lot of ordinary audiences already know and love. The reason is that I want the audience not to have fears about core activities, which require quite a number of uh, people to come together. Yeah, that's, that's very important, I think. Uh, my choir, uh, the National Cross of Korea, planned two series of the Beatles music because, uh, as you know, that two uh, this year is uh, 250 you know, anniversary of the Beatles birth. Uh, but we cancelled all because of this kind of a situation. Uh, most of the, you know, the choir. In Korea, we have many professional choirs and amateur choirs uh, are likely to have songs of comfort and healing with beautiful melodies and including lyrics of comfort and hope in the in the coming years. I think it will be really changed for the choosing the repertoire in this year. Uh, 
actually uh, my one of the choir, one of the uh, youth choir, Korea youth choir, and planning concept next month, uh, next uh, summer. Uh, so in August, this August, and then this concept uh, without audience, I think, without audience, just to, just to, and then uh, I just by video, and then. Uh, I think these type of performance have to be uh, prepared uh, more technically. And then uh, I still thinking about the, the this concert form of the, uh, those kind of performance. Uh, as many groups are doing virtual concert or uh, live streaming can be answered for now. I run that video and audio technology is also very important. Um, as you know, from my manali, I've written spatial music by far. Mm -hmm. uh, at first, I thought I can't write spatial music anymore. However, I got to thought uh, that the con concept, the spatial music, can be actually expanded with technology like mixing detector and platform like YouTube. Uh, with this pandemic uh, solution, I've been thinking about the online platform like YouTube. I think I have started to compose a new type of music to fit into this situation. Thank you, all of you. DJ. I really loved your answer to the previous question and how you're reimagining, not just about your own compositions, but maybe how people in Korea are engaging with the music and, and why they're engaging with the music. And even in the United States, we have seen an increase in uh, virtual commissioning projects for new works. Uh, do you anticipate maybe this more of this type of activity for Korea? Um, and do you have any specific projects that you're working on right now? Uh, yeah, yes. I uh, National Choir of Korea also started the virtual concert mm -hmm. for this event. I composed the one piece Viva Korea to encourage the Korean people with this pandemic situation. For this, I used the Korean traditional uh, instrument and singer to express strong Korean traditional rhythm. You can look it up. <laughs> with a very situation in Korea, we just had this performance in concert hall with a social distancing. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm working for Korean Independence Day performance. I wish we can have real performance with the audience at a concert hall. However, we are open to be uh, flexible with the situation. That's really great. And you said that with this new commission that you've just performed, so it's already um, been recorded and it's already on YouTube. Yeah. That, that's really wonderful. Have you been receiving um, feedback from conductors around the country about this work or about other works? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. My, my, many people like this. and. Uh, I want to uh, encourage Korean people. Uh, I also, I hope to do that. Yeah. That's great. Thanks so much. All right, I'm going to turn this next question over to Tim. I'm going to turn my camera off now. We are all hoping that we can return to choral singing soon and we know that life will be different. I, I want to ask all of our panelists, what are their hopes for South Korean choral music? What are, what are your hopes once we get back to singing together and once we return to our choirs uh, in a more traditional uh, form, what are your hopes for South Korean choral music uh, after this is over? <laughs> Uh, 
아, 나는 우리 선생님이 한국적인 것이 역시 세계적인 것이다 이런 말씀을 많이 하셨는데 아, 우리는 한국적인 것을 개발해서 세계 내놓을 생각을 하고 있습니다. So I was taught um, the our traditional way is the the world way. So I think at this moment in everybody country conductors need to develop their own traditional and their own classic style and then we can share we can um just put it all together and we can share and so um as we come together we can develop the more choir more actively okay let me say uh to be honest i'm very concerned about the future of choral music itself after the COVID-19 crisis. Mm. Choral music, by its very nature, needs a lot of people to come together on the stage. It is not something like piano or violin where players can just be alone on the stage. I think this crisis, crisis will come to an end only when doctors and researchers develop a vaccine. I pray that it happens and things go back as they were in the past. More important hope that I have for choral music in South Korea is that there are more adv advanced amateur choirs that are even more popular than uh, professional city choirs. Choral music by its own nature should fundamentally be about amateur singers. Singing in choir is not about making money, laboring, or having a job. It is about enthusiasm and enjoyment for singing for its own sake. Therefore, in order for choral music in South Korea to advance one more step, think it, it is necessary for us conductors to support a number of amateur choirs whose singers are ordinary uh, churchgoers, students, youths, or music lovers. Uh, KCMA, Korean Church Music Association, which I'm working as a president, will help this transition. That's my uh, opinion. Yeah. Um, Korea is a country with a you know, major choral society. There are about 60 professional choirs and uh, numerous semi-professional choirs and uh, a myriad number of uh, amateur and church choirs in Korea. I hope uh, for these choirs are adjust and adapt to this environment we are facing right now and continue to grow uh, by cooperating with each other to become a better choral society as a whole. Uh, but I'm a little bit wondering, and I'm really worried about, you know, economic, you know, situation. I hope that many professional choirs will not suffer financial difficulties, especially due to economic reasons. So we have to resolve about it in the future. Actually, I am still worrying many things. Uh, but when these hard times pass by, people who love choral music will realize how thankful it is to sing together and make uh, music as one. I think we need more interacting activities between Korea choral music and the world choral music, the international maybe activity more. I'm sure that this situation will get better and end though this, this crisis. Uh, there will be many performances which uh, has messages of hope and comfort. I hope everything comes back to normal. I wish we can have performance with audience. I think this can be our bigger stage through uh, technology. I wish 
everyone stay safe and healthy. <laughs> This question comes from one of our attendees, Eileen Chang. She is asking if any of you are making any plans for international tours or your own festivals, your own international festivals that you uh, sponsor. Are you continuing your plans for your own festivals? Ichiro, I know, I know that I was supposed to be at your festival this year. Uh, and we're hoping for next year. But what are your plans for festivals? And what are your plans for uh, your own touring? Do you have any plans? Hichiro Kim. Yeah. Uh, still, still, I'm preparing the, my festival. And, but I pray for the, <laughs> pray for the every day <laughs> with my family. <laughs> and, then, and then I have to see, see you and <laughs> next year in my hometown. And then, but uh, I uh, postponing every meeting is that that yeah, now uh, for now. Interested. <laughs> Yulong Yoon, are you making any plans for travel? Yeah, 지금 이 코로나 때문에 아무 계획도 못 세우고 있습니다. Yeah, we're just watching for uh, this situation to be done. So I don't have any plan at this moment. Uh, uh, the National Cross of Korea, we uh, have a you know, kind of in, uh, the National Liberation Day uh, Cross Festival, uh, August 15th every year. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, we invited you know, four foreign choirs in this year, but it, it was canceled. So we are planning to uh, one more try for next year, so we can invite uh, or uh, uh, maybe you know amateur player or really good you know professional players from the other countries. Um, we can support you know accommodation and some uh, honorarium. But the choir members should pay their own airfare. Actually, uh, the National Cross of Korea, we had some kind of you know exchange program between uh, the choir and the conductors. Uh, I did with Patrick Quigley and his set of choir last year. Uh, we had a really great you know time and fantastic experience. My choir supposed to sing at a uh, World Symposium on Choral Music in July, but uh, I was very disappointed. Uh, but uh, church music festival in Korea still uh, still going on. We, we're gonna have in at uh, the end of July, uh, almost uh, nearly uh, 10, 1,100 uh, choir, choir, church choir directors coming. And we have lots of performances, lots of reading sessions. Yeah, we are we are planning, but I, I'm not sure 100 percent. Thanks so much. Ben. Actually, um, yeah, this is something that I think we're all feeling this unfortunate circumstance of having to cancel so many of our performances. But I like the fact that we're still planning for the future. And EJ, to your point about the exchange that you participated with Patrick Quigley and Seraphic Fire and right. the National Course of Korea. That was through the uh, ACDA Inter International Conductors Exchange Program. And so my hope, of course, is that in the future, you're able to continue that collaboration with Patrick. I think that'd be great. So I have a, a question, and this is from, this was earlier. Tehua Jung was asking a question about how do you return to the rehearsal and of course, Hicho, EJ, Shina, you answered that question, but can, I was wondering, just personally, could you talk about some of the challenges you faced when you did finally return to rehearsal? I know you, you talked about like the plastic and the mask, but yeah. what were some problems that you faced that maybe you, you did not anticipate? <laughs> okay. Uh, most of city choirs in Korea are funded by the tax money, uh, and that means uh, they get paid full salaries even during pandemic. So they have to do something to demonstrate that uh, taxpayers are not wasting their money. 
some choirs sing together on online meeting platform such as Zoom, and they post the video online. I think it is a good idea because the choir members do not physically get together to sing. Some choirs require singers to wear masks while they are singing, or put transparent plates uh, between each member. However, I doubt uh, that it is a perfect way to protect the singers. <clears throat> uh, some choirs have started to perform at the concert hall this month, like National Choir in Korea. But uh, when they let the audience into the hall, they accept only limited number to keep distance between all audience members and require everyone to wear a face mask. Also, in order to keep track of the every audience who came to the concert offline, we use electronic technology, such as the QR code. Mm. Uh, so when audience entered the hall, they have to scan their own QR code on their smartphone in order to provide their uh, personal information to the organizer. The organizer is required to store all information for up to two weeks. So that's one of the way, a QR code is the, uh, the other way to enter the audience to come to the concert hall. Yeah. Uh, in my case, and then especially for children's choir and youth choir, and uh, 더 음악적인 것만 배, 준비를 하다가 더 어, 음악 외적인 것을 많이 준비해야 되는 시대가 된것 같아요. 사실은 뭐 지휘자가 악보나 어, 어떤 이런 어, 음악적인 환경, 뭐 울림이라든가 이런 데서 연습을 하는 환경에서 어, 우리가 좀 환기도 잘 되고 또 위생도 좋고 또 어떤 그런 여러 가지 그런 좀 클린하고 이런 굉장히 뭐라 그럴까요? 그 음악 외적인 것을 많이 신경 써야 되는 네, 그런 시대가 된것 같아서 어, 훨씬 어, 준비도 많이 해야 될것 같고 돈도 많이 들것 같고요. <웃음> 네, 그렇습니다. So usually uh, we're focusing on just music only as conductors. So uh, now we need to uh, consider all other things besides music, not just only the music, like for the um like the where we rehearse we have to find the, the place has to be satisfied with those stuff and also um we have to think about for the um what like so acoustic things too like depends on where we practice where we rehearse so that also uh requires like some other things maybe technology or just sound effects and also we have to think about some um support like budget so now conductors need to consider um, not just only focus on the rehearse, but the others too. Yeah, like, that's absolutely right. right. And I think even if um, conductors were doing that in the past, I think now there's a special focus on these types of issues um, because of the current situation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we got, uh, <clears throat> 17개 합창단의 지휘자들이 한 달에 한 번씩 모여서 공부하는데 이번 월요일에는 어, 무용하시는 분을 모시고 에, 아이들이 제초하는 거, 춤추는 거 이런 거를 공부합니다. 어, 이제는 그냥 합창만 서사해 가지고는 되질 않습니다. 에, 뭐 옛날에 우리 대화 합창단 할 때는 이 위에 천정으로 나는 것까지 했었는데 <웃음> 이제는 우리가 사람들이 시각적으로 뭐 여러 가지로 어 즐길 수 있는 것들을 해야 그게 사람들에게 좋은 반응을 일으킬 것 같습니다. So um like I said earlier um I'm direct for the 17 regional children's choir and regularly we meet every month 
So uh, coming Monday is our another meeting days, and um, we invite uh, choreography for um, for the dancer. So um, wow. we we we're gonna learn like all the uh, motions and choreography for the music because um, the music is not just for the sound. That one. So it's kind of a traditional way, but um, it has to be developed more in a um, contemporary way. Um, when I was director, they were professional choir a long time ago. We used all over the space. Like we have a, a, like strings, the singers can fly over the like the ceiling. I mean, the, we use everywhere the space. So um, we, we love to um, have that kind of a situation again. So uh, we're inviting a teacher for the choreography and then um, we can adopt those kind of a special um, segment and on the music. So it's just more visual now. Mm. So that way we can survive in the fire for, to the public. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. That, that, you know, that's very great. I mean, this is very insightful because there are other things that we can do that we should be doing as well. So we're creating not just one way. Um, actually, this next question speaks directly to that point, and it's a great question. This is from Ara Cho. I think she, uh, he sure, you know her. Yeah, my sister. This is, yeah, that's right. This is a great question. She says, since a lot of choirs in the United States have been making um, virtual choirs during this time, so she wants to know how all the panelists feel about virtual choirs. Oh, so, my case. Uh, the National Chorus of Korea, we made a YouTube for, you know, this time, uh, virtual uh, chorus, but I'm not sure uh, because of the you know the beauty of the sound is real life, you know singing sound. So, uh, in the future, if the, everything is okay, uh, I'm not gonna do virtual, you know, <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Actually, I love you know a real live concert in the in a concert hall. Actually. 네, 요즘 우리 윤희 선생님하고 저도 비슷한 의견이지만 지금 할수 있는 것 중에서는 가장 좋은 것 같다고 생각해요. 뭐 이렇게 요즘 보면은 이번에 왔던 코스타리카에서도 그런 콘서트 이렇게 유튜브 비디오가 왔고 또 우리 잘 알고 있는 발리의 타미 인도네시아 화에서도 그런 버츄얼 콘서트 하는 걸 봤는데 요즘 할수 있는 것 중에서는 가장 좋은 게 아닌가 그렇게 생각됩니다. I'm not 100% uh, agree and satisfied with the virtual concert because of for uh, the sound, like EJ told, the sound of a beauty. <laughs> uh, but what can we do? I think that's the best option for now. Um, the, a lot of uh, lots of choirs, good choirs, it's going on online, like for such as Indonesia and the Bali choirs. So I think uh, that's all trends now we need to get used to it and um, that's what we're looking for yeah i think we can we can use that as bigger space <laughs> that, uh, we consider uh we can consider what your choir is um expansion of stage so it makes me thought a lot. Um, it is very limited to do something on a virtual concert. So maybe we can have a large room. Um, that way um, um, we can use uh, space. So um, that's the really um, exceed of the uh, the space where we used to be uh, perform. So um, we had to look for uh, technology. We don't know yet, but um, 
probably there's some um, better way we can use technology adapt to the choir performance. So I, yeah, um, I vote for the, <laughs> the live space music than a virtual music, virtual concert. Yeah, I agree with the, the panel's opinion. Yeah, what I would like to hear eagerly is that uh, the real choir, real choir sound harmony, the, the, the pitch, but uh, it is hard to, to listen in the virtual choir. So uh, pandemic, pandemic will be over and the real choirs will be still seeing. Thank you for those perspectives and uh, good answers. This question comes from Steve Kim. He's a student at Simpson University um, in Redding, California. Um, actually not a student, he's uh, there on the faculty. He would like to ask you each to recommend a Korean piece, a piece of music that once we get back to singing with our choirs that we could perform here in the United States or anywhere, uh, would you recommend a, a South Korean piece, a Korean piece to us that we could rehearse? We would like you to give us the title of the piece as well as where we can find that piece of music. Uh, Hichiro, do you have a, um, uh, a piece of music you could recommend for us and where can we find it? I already published and then uh, I cannot remember the published company and then Cho and Wu, we have many, many <laughs> pieces published. <laughs> Yeah, I hear the music. <laughs> it works in music. <laughs> Where can we get it? Where can we get it? Where can we find it? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank uh, okay. but um, usually text is um, English and uh, sketch and Latin and um, easily Korean. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you can find it. Yeah. Yeah. In my area, it's SSA, just a woman's <laughs> card. <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> so, right. so, in my experience, I performed the, the Hangang Staryang, Hangang Staryang by uh, Orange the Hanchal Lee. And then, yeah, this is yeah. a nice yeah. 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 Very good. Hakwan Yoon, Hakwan Yoon, what piece can we, uh, you're a great uh, literature programmer. What what Korean piece could we perform uh, that you could recommend? Uh, okay, I have tons. So um, I own uh, own publisher, Seoul Call Center. Uh, I have great composers here, like Kyo Won Woo and others. Um, it really depends on what genre you're looking for. I can really recommend one because it's tons of music there. So it depends on like a sacred or secular. Um, you really have to talk individually, but maybe I can give you best option. <laughs> That's fair enough. I tell you what we'll do. Uh, TJ Harper will print in our uh, post-production when we publish this video. We'll put some recommendations in our um, in our uh, comments, so you can give us a couple of pieces, and we'll pass those on. I know how hard it is to uh, just come up with one piece, but um, uh, Shinwa Park, do you have a recommendation yeah. of a piece? Yes. Oh yeah. I have one song, uh, I've re recommended one song by Hyo Kyo Won Woo. Uh, it is a, a eight laughing song. <laughs> there is no text, no Korean text, just laughing. Laughing. <laughs> Everybody it's also know. Also, music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it's working music? 
that's, my kind of, that's my kind of Korean. Thank you for that. I can do Latin Korean. That's good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yoon, do you have a piece to recommend for us? Um, uh, Cho Won Woo composed a piece cantata, which is the multi movement cantata. It's so beautiful with the classical guitar and a full orchestra and SATB. Uh, it is amazing. But actually, it is not uh, published yet. But uh, the copyright is belongs to So Won Woo. You'd better ask her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. all for those good answers. TJ, I'll turn it back to you. Yeah, those, those are great answers. I love it. You know, it was um, just so um, it was fitting to uh, just hear everyone these wonderful compositions by Hyo Won. Um, <laughs> how great is that, really? So um, we have uh, one final question, and um, this actually has to do. This is from a doctoral student in choral conducting in the United States. Her name is Jennifer Jun, and she has a question about strategies uh, when leading a course uh, that are professional versus amateur. And, you know, actually, I think that is, is a very fitting question for right now because perhaps there are different challenges during COVID-19 for professional choirs than for amateur choirs. Uh, <laughs> um, Actually, professional choir in Korea, uh, we have to follow the direction uh, by government. So sometimes we have to stay at home without rehearsal. But sometimes you know, we have to make a, you know the performance for the government. Uh, I think between professional choir and Amateur choirs, the goal is different. Uh, the amateur choir should have a, a joy and pleasure and some kind of a relationship between uh, the choir members that they have to enjoy the life. So that is more important. So I think, you know, totally the direction is sometimes you know, really, really, really different. So, but the, mm. I, I don't have an amateur choir. I, I have only church choir, but I'm really worrying about, you know, health, about health of the members, you know, especially the old people. So even we want to get together to sing, but, you know, be, because, you know, uh, we don't have any heavy, duty to sing in the choir as an amateur you know singer you know we'd better you know just watching about you know the situation and uh COVID-19 should be gone you know as soon as possible <laughs> yeah it is hard to say even in Korean uh let me say Korean uh 합창은 아마추어리즘으로 한다고 저는 생각을 합니다 다 같은 사람들이 하고 싶어서 정말 합창에 관한 열정을 가지고 해야 되는데 어, 그래서 제가 철치 콰이어도 지휘하지만은 철치 콰이어는 제가 얘기하는 대로 금방방 붙어요. 그런 한계는 있지만은 그래서 많은 것을 고칠 수 있는 그런 마인드를 가지고 합창을 하는 것이 사실은 많다고 생각을 합니다. 그럼 프로페셔널 콰이어는 어떻게 해야 되냐면은요. 이분들이 가지고 있는 그 원래 배웠던 것들이 많이 있어요. 그것들을 그대로 살려주면서 내가 조금씩 조금씩 바꿔나가는 거예요. 거기서 내가 원하는 소리로 그것이 이제 아마추어와 프로의 다른 점이라고 할수 있어요. 그러니까 고쳐지는 거는 아마추어가 쉽게 고쳐지지만은 한계가 있고 프로는 잘안 고쳐지지만은 어 그러나 내가 조금씩 조금씩 고쳐야 된다는 네, 그렇게 해서 어 좋은 합창을 만들어야 된다는 그런 차이가 있는 것 같습니다. So work with amateur choir. Um... Um, I have to be like um, more patient, um, like such as um, I need I need to work with lots lots of new things, developing uh, sound and developing a uh, music 
it's not just musical, but I have to work with more fundamental of the music. But professional choirs, um, they already have some um, really good abilities. So I have to use them and I have to build teamwork. So um, it's not easy to fix for um, professional, but it's easy to fix for the amateur, but um, I need to work on more uh, the vice versa. So uh, <laughs> it is very difficult, um, but um, yeah, I don't know. Um, there might be question for answers. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah, no, I think that was, that was um, really good. I think that's the idea is that, you know, some of these challenges remain the same, but there are some new challenges. And I think we're having to approach all of these um, new challenges and um, with new strategies, but some of the old challenges um, that we think are kind of common, we still have to just um, come up with new strategies as well. Well, listen, this is something I know we could continue to talk about for, for many hours to come, but we've reached the end of our time. And so I just want to, on behalf of uh, all of us, Tim, ACDA, Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for sharing with us um, this evening. This has really been um, wonderful, really, truly. So, Tim, do, do you want to say anything? Uh, yes, I just want to say thank you as well, um, PJ. And um, I, we, miss, we miss all of you. Um, uh, it's very emotional for me to look at your faces. Um, I... I um, I've enjoyed so much uh, wonderful music with you all. And uh, I just want to say I will be looking forward to sharing um, uh, Bulgogi and Bimbimbap as soon as I can come back <laughs> and share it with all of you. So thank you. And let's uh, we'll share meals together hopefully soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Bye. Ryan. Thank you.